as you can see we've got cracking all over it I mean I don't even know what it was painted with I mean it's it's so rough it feels like it was brush painted with a hedgehog What's up guys? Well, here we are. Uh, this is the Wolseley project that I mentioned in a previous video. Uh, nice solid old thing, but uh, take a look at this. This is the previous paint job that this thing had had. I mean, this is just horrendous. Uh, if you take a look at the back here, it's even worse. As you can see, we've got cracking all over it. I mean, I don't even know what it was painted with. I mean, it's it's so rough, it feels like it was brush painted with a hedgehog. You now it's uh, just absolutely horrendous. I mean, I don't know how anybody could honestly put this out and say it was a good job. <clears throat> Around the back here is the same. I mean. I mean, this is just so coarse. I mean, look at here. I mean, they didn't even bother taking the steps off. I mean, <laughs> that's just absolutely ridiculous. Inside isn't much better. Uh, this is all just brush painted in here and round the edges of the leather. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but. Uh, Right, that's all just, I mean, they've literally just eyeballed it and just painted it in. Ouch. Of course, I find the only sharp bit on the entire car. Uh, same in here. I mean, it's all just brush painted. Now, it's, it's strange, but you get up under the hood here, and, and it feels like it's been sprayed up there. Uh, same with uh, the fenders. I mean, it's obviously, I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but that actually feels like it's been sprayed. But up on the, uh, the roof and other parts of it, it's basically, it's, it's been brush painted. I mean, there's no two ways about it. So, like I say, the plan is just to try and just get this to a, a usable state. I mean, again, I mean, I don't even know. I, 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 don't, I just don't know what this paint is. I mean, it's uh, although apparently at one point it was gloss. I mean, th and this paint is about two years old. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I truly do not know what to say. I mean, I, I've seen some bad paint jobs, but and I don't for one minute claim to be an expert painter, but. I couldn't in all honesty put this out. Anyway, uh, going to get it into the shop later today and start uh, breaking it down. It's, uh, it's a shame, I mean, it's a, it's a nice old car. It's a, uh, I think it's a 46 or a 47 Wolseley. Uh, four, uh, six cylinder. I think it's about four litres, something like that. Uh, bumpers and everything. I'm going to strip the, strip them all down as well. I mean, just just take it apart. Just make it look nice. Uh, hopefully, there's not going to be any surprises under the paintwork. It's, uh, but you know, when somebody's taking shortcuts like this, and believe me, there's a lot of shortcuts being taken on this vehicle. Uh, just give me a moment. Let me uh, pop the hood, and I'll show one uh, real beauty. Okay, so that is someone's idea of wiring. I mean, these electrical blocks here, I don't even know why they still sell them because they are, I mean, other than low voltage electrics that are used in, ha in your house, nobody uses these and you certainly do not use them for automotive applications. I mean, that is just, I don't know, again, speechless. What I might do though, it would be interesting to compare this, uh, the engine and everything with a Chevy. 
A uh, very, very similar setup in many respects. Six cylinder engine, uh, overhead valve, uh, six volt system, although it's got two batteries on. Uh, the, I believe this is still a six volt system. So I'll check up on that. But uh, yeah, uh, tw twin SU carbs rather than a uh, single, I forget what it is on the Chevy now. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what the owner wants. So I'll have to ask him about this. But uh, at the very least, some of the wiring for these uh, indicators, turn signals, etc., headlights. Uh, because I'm taking all of this off, I'll do it right. Uh, I'll uh, I'll just at the very least rewire those sections. Anyway, that's it. Um. Uh, should hopefully we'll have a video out within a week and uh, we'll take it from there well there we have it that's the Wolseley as it stands right now so let's get to it and we'll see you soon have a good one well guys welcome back and here she is, she's in the shop and uh, just having a walk around, just getting a plan of action together so I think I'm basically going to start with uh, dismantling bumpers windshield will actually come out uh, she does have a sunroof so I've got to figure that out and uh, that's basically it uh, so I'll get the camera set up and then we'll start taking stuff off.
headlights are removed and we've got the grill off uh, as anticipated the wiring is just hideous so we'll have to do some rewiring on this when it all goes back together but uh, it's taking a lot longer than I expected because uh, dealing with this wiring so next thing we're going to get this front bumper off and uh, that's basically the front end uh, torn down uh, only other thing I want to do, I'm going to remove the windshield but I'll do that at the very end I want all the bumpers and everything off first door handles I'm not sure uh, they may stay until I'm actually sanding the doors just to make life easier uh, little bits and pieces like you know the likes of these I mean they need to come off and be sanded if I can get them off without too much of an issue otherwise I'll just have to sand right up to the edge of them uh, just wire wheel them and uh, seal it up nicely and uh, yeah take it from there this is a concern I don't know what this is under here I really don't know what that is under there so long process anyway let's get back to it right so I've got this wiring figured out now so I've labeled it all so I know where it goes when we're putting it back together so let's get the camera back up on the tripod and we'll get this bumper off That is one heavy piece of iron mongery. That's done. Okay, so this is what we've got under here. Two bolts up there, that'll release this rear frame. Another two up there, I don't know if you can see them or not. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, I'm going to live here for a little while. Well, that was one way to get it out. Well, there we go. Something to live. So, the only thing left now was the windshield. Well, there she is. Everything is now stripped down. Uh, windshield out. I didn't film any of it, I uh, just had the camera on charging. You know, there wasn't a great deal to see. Uh, there's just a few bolts and it pops out. Uh, sunroof is mostly out. I'm not taking this centre section out because I don't want to get into dismantling all these runners and everything. Uh, made the mistake of doing it once before and it was a nightmare to get it all lined up so the roof is, this isn't part of the restoration so I'll leave that to someone else. That ain't my thing. Uh, and that's it. Came apart reasonably easy. And it's just a matter now of spending the next week or so just hitting it with a sandpaper and electric sander. Uh, my plans are basically I will plug away with this tonight. I think it's about I don't know what time it is, between four and five. It is five, just after five. So I'll I think I'll plug away with this till about six. I'll probably go and have something to eat at that point and then I may come back and do, do a little bit more tonight after I've ate and then tomorrow I'm going to work on it till about midday yep. so there we have it let's begin
good morning and another day yeah we're gonna <coughs> yeah late start this morning it's uh, about 8 30 so uh, just gonna carry on sanding on this thing i am going to try and get this uh, drain uh, yeah it's early what can i say this drain outlet uh, this drain outlet i'm going to try and get this off uh, i think probably what i'll do is just take a hacksaw just cut a couple of uh, grooves into those screws just to get them out and uh, yeah i'll just carry on uh, i'd like to get down to this uh, body line but i don't know it's a slow process so maybe maybe not today and uh, so that's the plan let's get to it okay so i have managed to cut us the thread into there which has gotten us moving so Good morning. Good morning, Chuck. Where are you? Okay. First one out. So, same thing again with this one, cut a slot in it, bit of hammering, and that, as they say, is that. Excellent. Right. Now let's move on to the rest of it. I'm not sure if I'm going to set the camera up, to be honest. It's, uh, I mean, I'm just standing here with a sander in my hand, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, I might just uh, call it for the moment, do a bit more, then uh, just give a quick overview before I pack up for the day. 